Welcome back to another reaction video with Esmer Sustain, guys. As the title suggests, you can see Big Showdown. So, guys, grab your water, grab your coffee, grab your wine, and come right back. I'll be here right after the break. Guys, before I get into the video, kindly remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to get more of my reaction videos or if you just want to listen to the news in the mornings, in the afternoons, that's fine with me also. But just remember, subscribes and subscription is free and just hit that notification bell. Anyway guys, let me get into the video now. This is where it is now. Mr. Holness asked the Supreme Court to review the IC reports as he want them struck down. Where have we heard this before? Donald Trump. Supreme Court. What is so hard for Mr. Holness other than to give the Integrity Commission what they ask for so that they can close his case? The attorneys for the Prime Minister is petitioning the Supreme Court now to review the legality of the actions of the Integrity Commission during a probe of its statutory declarations, argued in an affidavit filed on Monday. The report of the entity, which have been made public, are tainted and ought to be struck down. It also said that the Commission and its director of investigation overstepped their powers and acted illegally and unfairly in recommending that wholeness be investigated for illicit enrichment. Why? Why would they just submit that report? Unless something and it not complete. It doesn't mean that he's innocent, he's guilty of something, but it's not complete. So, I am not wholeness, but if it was me, I would just give them what they ask for. Listen to this. The Integrity Commission wrote to the Prime Minister asking for certain information, and he refused to provide the IC with such. And they had to invite overseas investigators who without bias would request additional information, which they did. I am not Mr. Holness, but I would just give them what they need, as I said before, just to clear my name. He, If he takes this to the Supreme Court and they rule in his favor, there will always be doubt on people's minds, both in Jamaica and abroad. And people on the outside will say, listen up, who no leaders, them corrupt. Just like how they're looking on some other countries, black countries in the world, and say the leaders, them are corrupt. We don't want that for Jamaica. We want to clear with name. We want to be trustworthy. One of those trustworthy countries. So, Mr. Holness, just give, should I just give them what they want? Because... The first thing people is going to think about corruption come to their mind is then Jamaica and they, they corrupt, they corrupt, they corrupt from the leader right down. But if him clear him name, him don't have nothing to worry about. I mean, even if them coming out for him the wrong way, just, you know, give them what they need then. What they asking for. If him don't have nothing to hide. Now the opposition, the opposition now, them walk out of parliament, Golden and his colleagues then, them upset after the speaker rules motion about the IC report and the prime minister, them say it is out of order. Who is the speaker of the house anyway? Madam Holness and Holness, that's one and the same. One to the same. A motion that opposition leader Mark Golden attempted to move in Parliament on Tuesday concerning the IC investigation 
report into the financial affairs of wholeness and of course the deputy speaker of the house mr clark him ruled it that is as it is out of order clark said he would not entertain the motion as as it breached section 22 of the standing order to the house and after several unsuccessful attempts by golden to lay the motion and heated exchange across the aisle the opposition members walked out that now solved no problem but golden made several attempts to explain what the motion entailed maybe i don't know, you know much but he was not allowed to continue. Clark shut him up. Clark did not want to hear nothing from him. And it's not so you come to any form of agreement. No country can rule so. Sometimes the JLP walk out of parliament. Sometimes the PNP walk out of parliament. And nobody is willing to agree. Is even sit down and listen. Even to listen. And at this juncture. There was an exchange of words between opposition government members and the opposition. Them walk out because it look like they start clash in a parliament over something like that. Something that should never have happened in the first place. Because it's two years, going three years now, them asking wholeness for certain things. Listen, before me go any further, me not belong to any party. Let me tell you, me never vote in a one of them party there yet. Me not belong to any. But at this point, I am looking at it from an auditor's perspective. A, an auditor, somebody who have worked with auditors, external auditors from outside. And when them come and them ask you for some things, sometimes they just randomly pick things, you know and ask you they go in there and then see a figure and then come and them ask for document and say what this is and what that is you give it to them as simple as that it is a very nerve-wracking thing you know it is a very nerve-wracking thing nobody wants to deal with outside auditors you know when you have an auditor on the inside you can easily well sit down and explain to them in simple terms when you have somebody from the outside they're going to come and they're going to ask for this and they're going to ask for that it doesn't necessarily mean that something is wrong with that document but it's so they ha it's like a storybook it's so they have to put their facts together and maybe this is why they're asking him they're not asking him because he's guilty of something but people just don't like when auditors, when people audit and ask them for stuff, especially outside auditor. I've worked places where outside auditors come and they ask for stuff and it end up, you get a good review, you get a good report and them gone about their business. But it's part of their job. It's like them have double eyes and triple eyes. And you might say, why the hell are they asking for this? What does it ha A have to do with Z? But you just give it to them. You understand? Because that is the only way they can complete their job and write it off and say, this is okay, that's okay, this is good, that's good. So that's, that's, that's it. And this has become such a big issue. Maybe Mr. Holdes doesn't really, maybe he was never audited before, so he don't really understand that asking for it is not saying that you're guilty of something. And this is why the IC can't really say that they, they are going to charge him for anything because it, it really don't get to that. It's not at that point. But in order for them to tie their information together, they have to get all the pieces together an auditor comes in and they come in and they say no oh, this is um thirty thousand dollars can i see this receipt can i see this invoice and you pull it and then take it and then check it and that's fine nothing wrong at the end of the day they pack up and go about their business 
And as far as they're concerned right now, they don't see anything that needs to be charged, like he's to be charged for. But them have to wrap up them investigation. And them need documents. Because they come with a list. Oh, we're going to ask for this. We're going to ask for that. We're going to ask for that. We're going to ask for that. Hoping that they would have gotten it. They were paid to do that. But if they don't get that information, they can't complete. The files cannot be closed. Prime Minister and his attorneys have filed a suit before the Supreme Court seeking judicial review of the decision of the Commission. The Commission have not made any decision because it's not complete. The suit was filed on Monday. In the suit, Dr. Holden strongly denied any wrongdoing and has applied for some 20 orders from the Supreme Court. And more likely than not, I am saying this more likely than not, thinking from it, thinking from the point of view that I just explained, that auditors will ask you for some, some stuff. And people will panic if they don't understand what audit is all about. They will panic. But it's just like a storybook. Or it's just like ABC. You can you start at A, but you want S or T, and you don't get it. You can't reach the C. And you know, it, it reminds me of Donald Trump. It makes it look like he's the Donald Trump of Jamaica when he's taking it to the Supreme Court instead of just giving them what they ask for. Why do these people at the head do not believe that the law also applied to them? How can they certify his statutory declaration without the documents they need to complete the findings? According to the Prime Minister, the decision of the IC to refer its report and findings to the FID and Tax Administration Jamaica represents an unlawful delegation of its statutory responsibility. What if this was a member of the civil service in a lower position? Would he have been saying that? He also accused the IC of straying into areas that were not referred and not the subject of the Integrity Commission Act for a report to Parliament. And that's what I was just saying a while ago. Once you get somebody in to look at the information, they're not just going to come. They cannot, unless they have the full story, they cannot just come and wrap it up. So. And he's saying they're straying into errors. But it's all part. It's a story. It's, all, it's like a book. You have a beginning and an end and you have a middle. Because when sometime, something is audited, it goes into depth. It can even go as far as asking your mother name. This is why people should have documents in order for an audit that they, they just look at it and do not dig further than is necessary. He argued that the tabling of the report was intended to embarrass and cause harm to him and as such was made for an improper purpose and in bad faith. For two years they had been asking for documents. Why didn't he just give them what they wanted. I may repeat this over and over. Dr. Holness also described as false and irresponsible claims that he misappropriated funds from a registered charity. When there's a charity, you are not even supposed to borrow from it for a single day. It is like a child trusting a mother with his bank account and she does she goes in, takes money out to do business without her consent just borrowing it you know even if he replaces it before she finds out it is improper and it's co it causes suspicion and mistrust personal thing of it um get mixed up with the, with anything at all personal and business stay apart especially when it's a charity because charity is when you work with somebody's money. You don't work with your own money when you have a charity. I am honestly hoping that if all of this is the fault of the IC, if the IC is wrong, and then they owe Mr. Holness a great apology. 
And not only that, they must be investigated and charged for defamation of character. Must the IC be discredited for political gains if this is based on politics to bring wholeness down? There are five other people that they were looking into. What happened to those people? Whatever our opinions are, if these allegations are true, then Mr. Holness has every right, are, are not true, then he has every right to sue a whole bunch of people. The last thing I'm going to say is, the behavior of parliamentarians tell a very damning story and it don't look good. Mr. Holmes might not be guilty, but there are some that would wish issues such as this presenting are not presenting the document overlooked because his might be straight and within his mind, Mr. Holmes, know that he didn't do anything wrong. But if him don't give the documents what them want, What's going to happen to the, pe to the people below him that are really, really guilty? And the, the integrity commission could well be wrong. You know, but what about the other people who need to be tabled in the house? You know, it, it, it is maybe I'm um, thinking at it from the experience I've had, um, well, this is not integrity commission, but this is accounting. The experiences I've had over many, many years dealing with external auditors in different companies, seeing how they operate and see the things that they ask for that has nothing to do with whatever, but they ask for it and you have to give it to them. And they close whatever they're looking for, the combat they give you a darn good review and a darn good report. And I'm gone about their business. And this is how the overseas people operate. They don't leave any stones unturned. They have to get everything in and then they can make their decision. Anyway, guys, if you have watched the video this far, just kind of make sure you subscribe, you like you share and you hit that notification bell so every time i post a video you are the first one to get it and guys subscription is free and remember love is free also just give this channel a love and i will see you back here on my next youtube video